Larry Martin and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to change your validation on a field on a business object from validation from list to validation from table. Now this comes into play when you want to be able to make changes to the validated items but don't want to have to create a new blueprint every time. So on the screen here, I have a test table that I created to demonstrate validate from list versus validate from table. It's going to behave the same way on the business object itself. So whenever I come in and create a new record, I'll give it an item name or whatever my business object that I'm using validation on is. So I'll give it a name and then I'll choose from my list. Once I do that, I save it and you'll see that I have my new record test for with the status of old. Now ShareWell only allows you to have one validation type uh, on a business object. So right now we're validating from list but I decide that you know this is something where I need to maintain it on a regular basis. We're going to change these uh, different values that show up here. Status is just what I chose to demonstrate with but like on CI records you may have CI types which are already validated from a table but if you built your own custom CI type and did something differently there you might need a new field and whenever you validate that you start out and you're like oh it's only three values let me just make it a you know a validated from list right there on the business object but as you are using it you start getting requests to add a new type or a new type or a new type and eventually you're like, you know, this is ridiculous having to create a blueprint every time that I want to update this list or the values that can be chosen. Now, it's fairly simple to do, but as people are learning the system and getting familiar with it, uh, they may not know how to do this, so I figured this would be a good introduction video of how to take care of that. So, to do this, to change it from validation from list to validation from table, it's fairly simple. We'll come into the admin client. We'll create a new blueprint. I'm going to open my existing one. And we'll create a new lookup table. Now I've already created the new lookup table that we're using here, or going to use. But to create this lookup table, you simply um, make sure you're at the top of the list on the new object. Create the new business object. And give it a name. Make sure that it shows in table management. Depending on what you're doing, you may or may not need to show it in one steps in Expression Manager and save the record. Then, whenever you save that, you'll have the ability to open your business object and edit it. And you can add your additional fields. So in this case, I put status, text, 15. Now, be aware that whenever you create the field length, it has to be at least the same length as what is already in your original table that's being validated from list and we'll look at that in just a moment. So create your field that is the same field basically that you have on your other object. Make sure that the field type and field size are the same and save the record. One additional thing that you might do while you're in here is you may want to go ahead and edit the data through the blueprint so that you can have the same statuses available as you have in your uh, existing table. So I remember I had old, I had new, active, and let's go see what the fourth one was. I believe I had four total values. So new, old, active, and pending. Uh, kind of following the same statuses that you might have. So we'll go ahead and add pending in there as well. So now that I've saved that data, when I publish this blueprint, before I publish, we'll go ahead and go back to our original uh, validate from list object where we're using validation. And what we have in here 
is on our status field, notice it says validated. But when we go to the properties of that field, validation and auto populate section, here we have validate from list, and here are the list of valid values. Well, we want to change that to validate from table. Like I said, you can only have one validation type, so we'll uncheck validate from list. We will check validate from table. And now, in this case, I know it's a lookup table, so I'll limit my searching so I have some less results here. We want to go to our validate from list status table, and the field we're going to validate is status. In this case, I want validation to be enforced. I want to make sure that you can only choose what's uh, value that is in that table. Um, on conflict, use first match, although we won't have conflicts because we know we've got unique values. And when limiting values change, clear the field's value. We don't have any limit values because we're not um, doing anything uh, complex here. It's a simple one-to-one -one, um, validation. We have a field status that can only have a value from the status table. So by doing that, unchecking the validate from list, and until I actually save it, those values stay there. Uncheck validate from list, check validate from table. Once we know that the values in our table are correct, we'll hit OK. We'll publish our blueprint. I'm on a 9 system, so I am going to elect to ignore conflicts. Um, since I am editing a blueprint that I've already published, it will give me a conflict resolution warning if I don't. In this case, I know that I've done all the changes. I know what's uh, in each of the blueprints, so I don't need to see those errors. I know I want to accept my changes. Now back in the rich client, we'll reload definitions. We'll go back to our table management. We will pull up our validate from list, which is the object. Notice that my values are still there from my previous records. But now whenever I do new, test five, I have four values to choose from again. But now I have the ability without going through um, a blueprint to come over here to the valid uh, validate from list status table, I can add a new status of yay because we've made this happen. Uh, that's yeah. Yay because now we have the ability to update it on the fly. If I go back to my um, business object where we're using these statuses, create a new record, item 6. Now we'll have five statuses instead of four and all of that without having to publish a blueprint. Anyhow, f fairly simple video, but there are people just learning that will not know this information yet, and so I wanted to share. Um, I hope you find this information useful. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We produce videos on a weekly basis. Uh, if you have a question, you can tweet at us, uh, comment in the YouTube channel, or send us an email, and someone will either respond and or we'll produce a video with an answer to the question you have for us.